Well hello everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. I'm back in the studio and I just want to do a few fix-ups. Uh, I'm going to be looking at the acoustics this time. Now with puppetry, one of the hardest things that you're working with is the audio. How to capture a good audio on set. Now with puppets you're often below things and squeezed into boxes in contorted positions so that your audio often sounds like you're in a box. Wherever possible, we put cushions and any cloth and foams to absorb any echo or reverb that bounces back from those confined spaces. Now you will always get a, uh, a reverb of sound bouncing between the floor and the ceiling, so we put a few carpets down which is a little bit more comfortable on your knees and things, but it also helps to absorb a little bit of uh, the noise and not let it bounce back and forth between the ceiling. And we've put egg curtains on the ceiling. Many sound engineers are snobs and will only use expensive foams and things, but and they say egg cartons are trash. Well, they might be trash, but they actually work. The thing is that every material, whether it be wood, a carpet, concrete, or foam, or paper, egg cartons, anything, wood blocks, they all have reverberative um, properties. They reflect or absorb sound and so the egg cartons because of their um, lumpy nature and their softness will absorb some and reflect some and will give uh, quite a decent amount of um, acoustic dampening for free but there is a way of sticking them to the ceiling now one of the difficulties of sticking them to the ceiling with silicon is that because this is only compacted and has not got glue anything, those fibers can give way and after a while they can slowly peel off the silicon and fall off the ceiling. So we need a more effective way of sticking them on, although we will use silicon. Now what I'm going to do is stick a piece of paper on it so that you'll get a better more of these points grabbing the paper and then the paper will stick better to the ceiling and to do that I'm going to first with some starch glue whether it be a corn flour or potato or in this case it's even um, it's my porridge basically which is what's that called oatmeal I'm first going to put a generous amount on each of those points and then once I've got all of those done on the paper, cover it completely with the glue, the paste, and that will help to stretch it. I'm going to put it back on there and make sure it's on all of those. Pull them out slightly so it's as reasonably tense as you like as you can and then put it face down and a board on top and a weight like a brick repeat that heaps of times until you've got a good pile of them they will take say half a day to or a little while to um to set but you'll depending on your climate now after it has dried because we uh, painted the paper with the paste there, um, when it dries it will now stretch and shrink and stretch and now it's quite firm and you'll see that um, in individual spots here the paper has stuck to the, uh, to the egg carton and now when we stick the paper with about four or five blobs of silicon it will stick to the ceiling a lot better without any uh, fear of that peeling off because of the fibers on the egg carton. So we'll put a little bit of silicon on each of those points, the corners, maybe a little bit in the center, and then we can stick it up. So let's see what the acoustics sound like this room compared to another. Compared to this room with a, just carpet and nothing on the ceiling. And this room with no carpet and no, uh, and a little bit of furniture. 
So you can see by this first waveform, that's the clap in the studio. It's relatively short. Now the next one with just the carpet and a bare ceiling is quite long. And the one with a little few bits of furniture is shorter. So you can see the best one obviously is the one with egg cartons on. And that's why we do it. A shorter reverb than the other two.